Greetings everyone, and Great here for another Age of, not Age of Empires. Hope there was one replay. Spawn on the north side as the Panzer Elite. We have good to go. Spawn on the south side as the US forces of Engo Jeep. Head and grab straight forward. We don't see immediate docks to walk in. <clears throat> Looks like just Panzer Grenadiers over here. Let's see what the US players eyeing. Eyeing for some combat engineers. Only eyeing the two. Head and grab's eyeing for the fuel point. We got these engineers eyeing for. Looks like they're eyeing for this munitions point here. Based on the engineer, movement yeah. pattern, this engineer looks like eyeing for this point here. He may be eyeing to push forward to put some wire here. That's not uncommon. And the category has kept at the fuel point. Panzer Grenadiers not eyeing to capture any of these points. It, this point here will not be in supply, so he will need to capture up. Uh, Two sectors, this one detail. and either right, one of these. When we get this one supply, it's probably good to capture this one. And the Grenadier probably should push over here to capture that point, but he's eyeing to be aggressive with him. He did build some wire there as predicted. Jeep has blood on the field. And go Jeep, build a Jeep. Good. Gotta fulfill your namesake. He is actually eyeing for this point here, interesting enough. I would assume he would have gone for the munitions point instead. This Panzergrenadier is pushed away forward as well. The Jeep does get a bit of damage on the Kettengrad to get a good damage onto it. Panzergrenadier could ward him away. I don't think he's going to have enough health or enough opportunity to pursue forward. Kettengrad's eyeing for the cutoff point now, and the Jeep is just driving away. The engineers took quite a bit of damage there. Panzergrenadiers took minimal damage. Now got the engineers advancing up forward. He may try to bully around the Panzergrenadier. Prevent him from firing. He does go and knock one of the models into range of these engineers. And these guys getting knocked around pretty good. Does go ahead and fall back. Not liking that engagement there. Though it did take a bit of damage from both these engineer squads. Just drop a model there. So it wasn't a clean engagement with the US player. But he did win the engagement nonetheless. Transparent is now engaging this Jeep at close range combat. And the rifle squad has seen a bit of damage there. Not rifle, my pants are going near. But not a whole lot. He does need a bit of repairs. Do have one rifle squad on the field. Second rifle squad likely coming out relatively soon. Most time, US players go for between three and four riflemen. Four is seems to be pretty much the standard. Cannon grad captured that munitions sector now. He's just trying to capture his fuel sector. He will probably get it, but he's going to take some losses. Does capture it, does fall back there. Jeep trying to knock around the Pound Grandiers. Rifle squad advance on forward. There's no additional rifle squad to support them out at the moment. He is focused on the rifle squad because he's able to get some bleed damage there. He's unlikely to get any bleed damage onto the Jeep. Doing a good job of knocking him around. Additional Pound Grandiers squad advance on forward as well. Another rifle squad now pull down the field. And quite a bit of damage right now. These Pound Grandiers does fall back. Off retreats at least. Or Kennegrad does not decapture that point there. Jeep has plenty of health to tango with at the moment. And this engineer squad is still in the front line for repairs, so he will go and buffer out those scratches. And the Kennegrad is eyeing for this fuel point. This rifle squad is actually pushing along the left side of the map. He's eyeing for the fuel point, looks like, trying to decapture it. So it looks like they may see a bit of a mutual trade of fuel points, though. This fuel point's not in supply for the Pansley player, nor is this fuel point in supply for the U.S. player. Panzer Grenadiers now eyeing advance forward to this cutoff point. A couple of Panzer Grenadiers are quite wounded, down two models each. Of course, got one fresh one with one kill. G43 squad now getting hit by the Jeep, as well as the Rifleman squad. Additional rifleman squad now on the field. He's trying to push heavily to the left side of the map. The two two pan, Panzer Grenadiers are pushing along the left as well. He does find a bit of fire there on that Panzer Grenadier. These Panzer Grenadiers are advancing on forward, trying to get a bit damage, and there's going to be four Panzer Grenadiers in the region. Of course, the three of them are quite damaged at the moment. And this is eyeing for something back here as well. He may be eyeing for another Panzer Grenadier. That's blood base healing, I'm guessing. Nope, there's another Kettengrad. Not base healing. So I was mistaken. Which, do we see a Doctrine Selection just yet? 
Don't see the camouflage pattern. Nothing loaded in the back seat. So it looks like he's not selected a doctrine. Additional rifleman squad not being employed out in the field. Now we got four Panzer Grenadier squad, a little bit idle right here. Panzer uh, Kettenkrad, captain of the right side of the map. This Kettenkrad is advancing along the left side. Jeep does find it. He could pursue it, but the Flak Irving stack at home will prevent him from going down. But he will get some good damage there, but not enough damage in time before the Flak Irving comes into range. Flak Engineers have been pulled on the field. He may want to get this point decaptured. He's captured from all the left side of the map. There is now Ford HQ here, and we do got Ford healing as well, so we got a bit of a power play deployed out by the Pansley player. This point is in supply for the moment, but it is soon to be out of supply. This There's not a supply sector through there. Craft squad to see a bit of damage there. It does get a cutoff point there. Flamingers do get forced back. Black squad now eyeing for this sector over here, I believe. And we do have this mission sector being decaptured by the riflemen as well. Observation posts report we are losing a sector. And the grad does see a bit of damage there. Rafferman squad does see a bit of damage there from the G43 squad, getting a bit of damage onto the Kettengrad as well. Our front lines are collapsing. And the Kettengrad will go down, I believe. Should go down. That roll to bounce there. Jeep should be able to pursue it. We've got the Pentagoners inside the garrison there. It does put the forward healing as well. Flame Engineers can be very useful clearing out. He can push the Flame Engineers across the road and... Unit down. And does go ahead and take up the Kettigrad. He can push the Flame Rangers into the road and force by the ground into the garrison. <clears throat> oh, at least he can do that in Comfy Heroes 2. Not sure about Comfy Heroes 1. Flame Rangers do fall back there. Sorry about that. Engineers advancing on forward, severely wounded. They do get a bit of good damage down the Kettengrad. He can't be losing both of them like this. He does fall forward in order to get towards his Panzer Grenadiers. And, there's a great, and the engineers are eyeing to go towards this Rifleman squad. So far, both players have minimal control of the map. The US player does have more control at the moment when it comes to resource income. And now the engineers are probably going to get wiped out. He needs to get around this onto this Infantry road and retreat its back, but it's going to make it that far. Do you have a supply yard being pulled on the field? Looks like he is not eyeing for a trio center at the moment, so he may be eyeing for a faster Greyhound. They're taking one of our points. And Grad has been repaired on up, but do have the Jeep way forward as well. And this Rockman squad decapturing that fuel point. No additional structures for the Hensley player at the moment. He's eyeing just for a bit of man spam. Supply yard has been completed. And we do see the motor pool being pulled on the field as well. Rifleman squad do fall back to the light cover. Over here we do have this Rifleman squad behind some light cover as well. A bit damage on the Jeep. And Grandier squad does fall back. Rifleman squad advances forward and does get forced back there. It does drop a model. Fresh motor pool now ployed on the field and is eyeing for an AT gun. Which is usually a good safe assumption. Do not have the comp group company now be pulled on the field. You should have a sizable fuel reserve at the moment. He does have a decent fuel reserve. Actually a lot less than I would assume. He must not have maintained the fuel points all too well. Target 
Rifleman squad advance on four. The Panzer and Deers do force back that rifleman. Just too many squads in this region for the rifleman to stick around. The enemy has moved against one of Germany's victory points. There are no tree our center here. This rifleman squad a little bit idle. And this rifleman squad does fall back as well. Our supply lines are broken. We have territory out of supply. Infantry section ready to move out. <coughs> Orders coming, form up. Well, we do have no music playing at the moment, so let's switch back to the US player. US player has consumed his fuel reserve. There's now a gray on the build queue. No additional upgrades in the supply yard just yet. And the Starfin squad does get forced back Losing ground out from there. this Panzer Grenadier. Uh, looks like the U.S. players signed up force fire, destroying... Oh, no, he's destroying the garrison. There's some good holes in the housing, so he is going to get it destroyed to give him enough time. And do we have a Panzer Support Command? Is that going to be a light AT half-track? A light AT track has been on the build queue and a mortar half-track. We've got more rounds running into the house. Rifle squad's advancing on four, trying to gauge this Panzer Grenadier. Panzer Grenadier squad does fall back. Ready. The enemy and still no music play, so let's switch back to the US player. They don't know which uh, doctrine for both players just ready yet. Panzer Grenadier is pushing me forward. We've got four Panzer Grenadiers in this region. Greyhound yeah, does find these fire. units. Did take a bit of uh, chip damage there. Maybe his armor scrims weren't fully upgraded before he engaged these Panzer Grenadiers. And the 40 HQ has gone down. Had made minimal use of it, but does but did provide some great field control. It was hard to estimate how good it was. His opponent decides not to engage it, so he minimizes losses with it. You now the landmine now being pulled out there to help probably going to prevent any sort of 222 from diving on in. But of course, he doesn't have a 222. He will spot the light half track there. The Jeep does see a nice shot. And do have another landmine put on the field, so the US player is eyeing for a good number of landmines, which I do like to see. That's gonna just push away forward, rifle squad immediately falls on back, mortar half track roaming around. And now we do have a fresh Red. sniper to pull on the field. We have a threat to our victory point. And we're going to start decapturing this VP now. Mortar half track bringing some mortars in there, riflemen. This rifleman squad starting to engage the Panzer Grenadier. More mortars raining on in. And the rifleman squad does fall back now. Snipers advancing on forward. Real Center going on up, which will give good health regen. No supply yard upgrades just yet. And we do have the AT gun set up right here. Probably is in range of the light half track, rather than not just trying to find the find the units there. Panzer Grenadier is getting a bit of damage onto the M1 AT gun, but nothing too significant. Over here, do you have the sniper finding a point blank shot on the Panzer Grenadiers? That's a little bit dangerous. The sniper does fall back as well. Not realizing the Panzer Grenadiers also fall back. Rifle squad advancing in four, trying to engage the Panzer Grenadiers. Right now, the Panzer player has control of over a majority of the map. Rifle squad's pushing way forward, trying to engage the Panzer Grenadiers. More Panzer Grenadiers pushing way forward, and good damage onto this Panzer Grenadier. One Arkham squad back, one Panzer Grenadier falls supply. back. Light TF track just firing some shots, rolls some misses. And the AT gun does go ahead and hit the Light TF track. Light TF track does fall back in time. And now he's taking some shots there on the Panzer Grenadier. Sniper does find a hit. Shit 
Chief making his advance, which will draw some fire there, but taking a lot of hits. Or half track eyeing for a barrage onto the AT gun. And it looks like the Jeep does get fully immobilized there. I don't think that's from Light the Abstract. Well, it's probably from Small Arms Fire. Minus one detonator right there from a stray mortar. Jeep does go down. Climb Engineer does force back the G43 squad. Greyhound's main sent forward, trying to get some hits there onto the Light Tap track. Now over here, Rifleman squad advance forward, trying to get some shots there on the Captain Grad. Now do have a 222 now pulled on the field. from squad see a bit of damage there up here do have a mortar half track another two to two light and two light tf tracks now is that gonna be another two to two yeah another two to two so he were going to see three two to twos we do have six pounds of grenadiers one mortar half track and two light tf tracks so a lot of light mechanized and motorized burn them out we now have incendiary grenades at our disposal Zinner grenades can be thrown. Do we see a doctrine lock in just yet? Nope, nothing just yet. Ready to execute order. And now we do have the Strifling Squad eyeing for the munitions point. The VP has been captured on up. And we do have just a rifling squad on this side, this garrison. And this rifling squad does fall back. Rifle squad does fire right behind the heavy cover there. Research has granted us the ability Elite to perform Fushion advanced Jäger repair. Infantry is oh, now we do have another doctor lock in the Luftwaffe ground forces. He does have advanced repair as well. I, uh, advanced repair could be just for the amount of vehicles he has. They're pretty. Uh, paper armor though so they don't take long to order repair up so they will just take a couple taps of wrench and they're good to go You're ready for orders. got four pentagon this region got a flame engineer and the two snipers up on field let's find a couple shots there they split their shots as well Rifle squad advances forward flame engineer does fall back only the US player has access to sticky bombs at the moment does roll a miss there on the 2 with the AT gun, M1 AT gun. And the Pentagon gear does capture the point there. Rifle squad does fall back. Alright, man. Time for the fight. More the hedge line is now going on down. Wait. I don't know why. It sounded like that he destroyed the hedges just by walking into it. Could have been just the rubble uh, rolling around. Rapid squad down. immediately falls back, does not entangle with two to the twos. Welding, shooting, and Break on the region. Engineer. Does have tried to love place landmine there, does get fully cancelled. There's also a camouflage Ketting grad here, so he saw the whole thing. Sniper ready for battle. In which it is possible the Ketting Grad have both spot the sniper and yeah, the AT mine. Right, Good hits there, destroyed right, engine crit, immobilized. AT gun does find a shot there, fires another shot. Enemy unit. Light cap track does go down. The two is of course dead in the water, but he can defend himself and his buddy here. Two's main gun now destroyed. Oh, so it's, oh, and the snipers make up a kill there. The sniper killed themselves in light vehicle there. Let's give it a shot there. More engine crits grinning on in from the mortars, making so he really can't move. I know it doesn't stack, it just 
my little stupid way of saying, it does not want to make a move. Rifle Squad is doing quite a bit of damage there. Rifle Squad looks like we'll get wiped out. He's focused over here. We got a Cinder Grenade thrown. Rifle Squad is to make the advance. A single bomb being thrown on both these light vehicles. That's why I thought that one Panzer Grenadier. He did say the other Rifleman Squad. Panzer Grenadier is pushed way forward. We'll find this landmine. And. Oh, those are butterfly bombs. At first, that was going to be uh, off a power shoot, but that's not the case. Greyhound has gone down. Carbine defense model gains some shots on the butterfly bombs. Enemy unit down. And there goes that light ATF track as well. Good kills there. Even taking time to kill off the carcasses. Remember, the Head Sport Command can depart out the Burgundigas. All Stream Yeagers now being brought on in behind this AT gun to quickly kill it off. This player has five command points. He definitely now knows what Doctrine's point has gone for. He may have been had inkling from it based on the uh, mortar half track shots and light T half track shots. Casualties being reported. And he's going to take time to butterfly bomb the AT gun. Ooh, nasty. We do have a mine sweeper. Between those mines, he does spot those uh, butterfly bombs. He doesn't have a mine sweep in this region, but he, yep, that's what I thought. He's, he can go in, push with the engineer, and force by the ground to blow them up. Not a good mine sweeper, but a way to sweep for mines without using your feet. A couple more butterfly bombs still in this region. And he is destroying some of them. He really doesn't want to push for snipers in that region. Does find some good damage there. Rifle Squad does get suppressed and falls back. AT gun push way forward. 52 trying to force these guys back. Another. They have another engineer with a minesweeper not on the field. They can be pretty good with the FG 42, but unupgraded, yeah, they're not that great. And they do have access to the uh, Hansafaus strafing support. Does get them all pinned. Very good. Ocean Vegas advancing on forward. The Vegas strength is probably the field deployment uh, capability where you can use as an instant flanker. That's probably where, where most of the cost is justified is the ability to win a certain engagement. Paradrop reserves are now available. More paratroopers or paratroopers can now be called on in. Orders raining on in. There's some more butterfly bombs that can be swept. Taking time to destroy more of the hedge line. And he's now also have the Luftwaffe ground forces deployed on, available deployed on the field. He has enough munitions for more butterfly bombs. If he really wants to slow down his opponent, he could probably just throw them maybe on top of the VP. Achtung, enemy forces are attacking our more AT gun depot. shots trying to destroy this carcass. Carcass destroyed. And now the flame engineers do fall back. Destroys the carcass there as well. Very nice. Right now he is currently has two two, two spawn field and one mortar half track. Our rifleman squad does fall back from the Falshim Jaegers. Rifleman squad down to three models. I think that one may have been used to recapture the AT gun. This rifle squad could advance forward as well, but there's a good number of Panzergrandiers over here. Ready for mission orders. And a grad still spawning around. Got some butterfly bombs being brought in somewhere. A He's bringing them over here, trying to protect this VP. He does have some folks shimmigers in the region. Portable camouflage technocrats in the region. The two just trying to cap keep this flank secure. We are coming under fire. 
Arkham Squad and Minesweeper Engineer pushing their way forward towards away the mortar half track. Ready for action. Another 2 to 2 now deployed on the field. I think that will be 2 to 2 number 5, maybe number 6. Scheiße. The enemy is stealing a victory point from beneath our noses. We await your command. Fire. Get more damage there. Flamingers to fall back. My super engineers do get some more butterfly bombs there. They did spot still a couple more un uh, camouflage there. The engine my super engineers do fall back now. Rifle squad advancing forward, trying to throw a sticky bomb onto the rifleman. Light TF track advancing forward. Ooh, good mortar hit there onto the rifleman squad. Watch oh, just the camera angle there. Camouflage kind of grand making his advance. Does get spotted there by the retreating rifleman squad. Light TF or the mortar half track does not get a shot there. Does fall back the snipers since he didn't want the light TF track to pick them off. Does spot the uh, Integrat as well. Sets up the AT gun and does not get any more hits. Does spot some more butterfly bombs over here. Could do getting pursued by the rifleman. Should be able to deal with the rifleman squad, but the rifleman squad probably will get a sticky bomb off. squad will probably be forced back relatively soon. We've got more butterfly bombs being brought on in, trying to mine up this area. These kinds of grenades are pushing me forward. Our yeah. women squads making their way forward. Mines, one mine sweeper in the region as well, which will be useful for these butterfly bombs. Good chunk of them right there. Here's some more mortar hits raining on in, but looks like he is just trying to barrage an area. I'm not sure what he's trying to hit. Maybe an area where he thought he saw a landmine being built. Another 2 to 2 now deployed on the field. And we've got these rifle squads advancing forward. And we've got the mine sweeper engineers that. Sweeping these butterfly bombs now. Looks like all of them has been spotted. Like maybe not one over there. The two are seeing a bit of fire there. Trying to go forward to some sticky bombs. Got some folks who maybe over here. Getting some damage onto those mine sweepers. The two are seeing quite a bit of damage with the AT gun. AT gun line push another shot. Reloaded. Fires. Whips. Oh, but he does lose this one here to the sticky bombs. More of the butterfly bombs are being swept. Most of them have been swept there. Straight from the does come forward to force back these kinds of grenadiers. Rifleman squad is on. We start to capture the point there. No, it's making his advance. AT gun is still in the region there. It may want to fall back. It's a little bit wounded. Now I got the Fulcrum Jaeger falling him back now. Or oh, making his way forward. Ugh. The rifle is falling back. One shot down the Fulcrum Jaeger. Does fall back now. Severely wounded. Definitely does need a medic. Vehicle has been destroyed in action. And the Kettengrad there does go down. You can use a Bourbon Stika to recover the Kettengrad. That's a cheap carcass there. Not a Kettengrad. And that's a living ATF track. We do have one squad of Fulcrum Jaegers and one squad of G43 Panzer Grenadiers in this region, though the G43 Panzer Grenadiers is down to two models. The Zarkov squad is eyeing for the flank, got mortar half track, could receive some fire from the rifle squad, maybe I'm face forward to face sticky bomb.
ready for all group. Yes, sir, we read you. Rifle squads do see the damser. HP gun does get a good hit there on the 2 2 2. Another two does go down. This one's getting good on the field. Now, do you have a verbal one to pull on the field? The AT gun will still be useful in this situation. Rifle squad trying to charge the other way forward to get a sticky bomb off. Over here, do you have the Kennecrack does find a landmine there? It does. They got another 52 there, I think. Kennecrack in this region does still camouflage there. We'll get refueled. Minesweeper or Flame Engineer is trying to deploy down some landmines. More AT gun shots there onto the points. half track. More supply drops raining on in. He may pick up a 30 cal. A mortar would not be useful, but 30 cal in this situation could be useful. Let's get out some airborne squads. I probably eyeing for some repulsors for rifles. Rifle squad now seeing a bit of auto cannon fire there from the two. -two. And Grad is camouflage his way forward. We'll spot everything for these Panzer Grenadiers and Fortune Jaegers. The two AT gun has been spotted, so the AT gun may get a shot off from two, -two but it's still out of range. Got the Volvo and Force Mac, the Minesweeper squad there. I think all the butterfly bombs have been cleaned on up. There is, of course, a US landmine there. Minesweeper squad does recorded. get wiped out. Good little pick. We're going to see it will allow them to pull out some more butterfly bombs and be and go to explode as they want. Minesweeper, Kenkrat does spot the landmine there. Did getting too close to the landmine reveal the uh, Kenkrat? Because it looks like he was still moving at the same speed. We do now have some airborne paratroopers deployed out with our coolest rifles. Rifle squad now falling back there. And now we do have some FG 42s out on the field munitions as well. Point under attack. US player does have enough munitions for a strafing run. We got contact! Ocean meters not upgraded at the moment. A bit of fire there. G43 squads will see some literal fire. Your bullet rifles could start hitting down that uh, verbal one. Two snipers right there. Hunter Grenadiers receive the damage there from the airborne squads. They do see the singular grenade there. Getting them wounded is probably be very handy because it makes so the next engagement they get. Kill them off quickly and does do not have time to reinforce. Good shot there onto the uh, Barber One. Uh, for some seconds. Yep, yeah, I can occasionally. I've sort of been uh, just more focused on what's on the field. Grenades have arrived. Rifle squad does get chewed up by the two two. Does go and destroy this housing there. It may have been a general A move forward. It may have hit the structure. Light the track now seems to fire there. Light the track does go down. And you have this 2 2 in this region with the full Sheen Jaeger gear support. The 2 2 2 does receive a sticky bomb there. Damage into crit. Rifle squad advancing forward. Full Sheen Jaegers may want to focus on to the rifle squad and send regular frag grenade thrown. And the rifle squad does fall back there. Ocean Jaegers are quite wounded, but they will report the engineers. You see here the field Our control casualties. is uh, looks like most of it's in control of the allies at the moment. And we do have the allies also getting the athletes cut off point there. Just to blitz this way forward, we've got this engineer un unupgraded, getting annihilated. Trying to overrun the snipers and to the AT gun there. Does have one AT gun, doesn't find any snipers at the moment. Just wants to make sure that goes down so he can move around with impunity. 
Did you kind of crawl his way at home? Get your kid and, form up. and the Fulton Jaeger squad is retreating back and it cannot repair up the two to two. We do not have the light, the M1 AT gun now being focused down by the various the auto cannons. Engineers do fall back there. And flame engineers and rifle squad falls Everyone back as squad, well. Notice that the cannon grad is kept at this victory point, but probably could eye for this strategic point sooner rather than later. And right now the US player does have a staggering amount of munitions stored on up. He will maybe have soon enough for a large number of bombing runs. But most people just apply strafing runs. The Panzer player does have quite a bit of main power stored up, but does not have activated Panzer Battle Group. I don't see any research at the moment as well, so I'm not sure how close he is towards the activated Panther battle group. So also going for non-Panther items probably be fine, says Verbal Winds. His opponent is pulling out infantry. Might as well use get infantry fighting vehicles. More butterfly bombs being brought on in. This is on a good spot for us, bit of a choke point. This player right now only has zero line sievers on the field, which is very important. Level 2 production has just been completed as well, so he is now have full amounts of manpower available. And that is a straight run over there. Looks like he made that a landmine, does miss his Fulton Jaeger. And his other one just get pinned, not a whole lot of damage onto it. Rifle squad pushed way forward to see a bit of fire. We're losing ground out there. Trying to get some good AT gun shots onto the ocean Jaegers, but not doing all too well. Another carcass does go down there. Rifle squad has captured the VP. Mine sweeper squad has been upgraded. Very necessary against the uh, Luftwaffe ground forces. Airborne squad. Same bit of auto cannon fire there. Of course, can be reinforced on the field. Our supply lines are being threatened. AT gun and various other forces are in advance on forward. And we do got some more supply drops being brought on in as well. Five percent Vector C3 and Vector C2. And there is a kind of grad there to spot them shortly. But nothing to do in the region to capitalize on it. Right now, the Panzer Elite player does have minimal control. We'll be able to get some inkling of dual control, but right now he is a little bit behind. When it comes to VPs, however, the Panzer Elite player is ahead. Over, back to the war. making their advance. Ready to fight, sir. And this rifle squad does fall back. You bet the P is going to lose because forcing on Panthers. Let's see now. I don't see Panther research at, or pa Panthers able to be called on in. We do have more to do. So it doesn't look like he's going for Panthers. Grenade has been thrown. Potion Makers do dodge it. Potion Makers receive some damage there, but the sniper fire is a bit disconcerting for them. Another two more shots will be raining in relatively soon. Does miss that shot and does fall back now. Ooh. Wait, that's not a grenade. That was a demolition charge. He really wanted him dead. I thought. If that would have been a red grenade, that probably would have got the wipe there because they did not move for quite some time. That was a full demolition charge there. The grenade may have been on cooldown, or maybe that was just a misclick. Vehicle 
Two is advanced for Verbal One and two getting some potatoes there. Verbal Strikers do fall back. The battle get wiped out. Rifle Squad does get suppressed. Verbal Strikers does get wiped out. Rifle Squad gets wiped out. Two dropped weapons there. And that does give them a victory to Fulci Jaegers. Now they can start ripping stuff apart. They do pick themselves up a bar. I'm not sure how bars compared to uh, FG 4 2s but right now they're all firing FG 4 2s as all slot items. Great hits there onto the rifle squads. They do fall back, dropping another model there. He does escape off both of those squads there. That's quite a bit of losses there. Quite better to pick up those bars with the Panzer Grenadiers since they're actually able to use them. 62 is now on. Oh, that's a Flak 88. Uh, I don't think the Flak 88 is a good idea. His, it would be very effective for the AT gun, that's for sure, but that's about it. He could have gone Panthers ages ago if he wanted. He floats a thousand manpower most of the game, and he has all the fuel in the world. Let's not spend more resources. Oh, he's at Pop Cap. I don't, th there's also a bit of a problem where he's been, been a Pop Cap for a bit of game, quite a bit of the game. He probably could have used... Oh, there's some good hits there on the M1 AT gun. His issue may have been population. I had not really been paying attention to the population. His population all too much. The right from Swaz advancing forward, trying to give it damage there on these 2 to 2s Black Kitty does actually get a direct hit there, getting a kill. Do see private damage there. We've got some butterfly bombs here to protect his flak 88 from being overran by riflemen. Oh, we got now straight run coming on it. Oh, is that a bomb run? It was a bomb run, but it got shot down. And I don't think it was shot down by the flak 88. It only dropped one bomb there. But now we do got a Sherman tank on the field. And the Sherman tank this one time is going to be excellent because. The Panzer League player has nothing to gauge the Sherman tank other than that Flak 80 on the far side of the map. We actually did get, get, get decrewed by the single bomb right there. Sherman tank's making his advance. He does find some butterfly bombs. This is fine. Does not pull out a light half track at the moment. Does throw some rounds there on the mortar half track. Over here we do have another 2 2s advance and forge over on the sniper's one and does get stick bomb down. Unit One sniper's down. Well, the other three snipers still alive. Gonna repair up these two to twos. Got the M1 AT gun does take out that two to two. You may want to take out the uh, recapture up the. I know he have to sacrifice his squad because the guys only have three models there. Both of them. Two to two now seeing some fire there from the Sherman tank. Rolls and this there on two, two. Sherman tank going to be firing one more shot. Nope. Black 88. That's trying to hit a recon aircraft. Rolls and this there. Or whiff. Couldn't really tell. Oh, well, it's like another airborne squad dropping on in somewhere. Right there. Going for repulse rifles as well. The US player is down to minimal manpower. Has enough uh, munitions for a bomb and run, but there's a lot of anti aircraft on the field. You got the two flak Irvings on the field, as well as the handful of 2 to 2s and the flak 88. So he has five units of anti aircraft. Sherman tank can repair it on up. The Sherman tank can be very useful. Right now, the US player does have two VPs captured. This one and the right one. He can use Panzerfaust from... Oh, got potential strafe support now being brought in, in on the right of the Sherman tank. That's good, good hits there. Panzerfaust may be coming in. Nope, does take it out with the Hensel, the HS129B3. All the face falling makers do fall back. There's still some butterfly bombs in the region. This point is being decaptured. Nothing on the field queue there. Rifle squad have seen a bit of fire. Sick bomb has been thrown. It does get fully immobilized there. This player is soon have enough munitions for another strafing run. 
going for me. Vehicles no more. Recoilless rifles do roll. Miss there. I think recoilless rifles are pretty inaccurate versus uh, G2s, aren't they? An AT gun does go down to the flak 88. Does get a hit there. Rolls and miss there. And looks like this. Airborne squad does drop a recoilless rifle there. And the other one's blitzing him down now. Rifle Squad may be able to get Stink Bomb off. And he does... Oh, that landmine that was there a long time ago has been stripped. I'm pretty sure the Kenigrad also even discovered as well. Just never had time to clean up and forgot about it. So we got some damage from two. So we got a Airborne AT gun being dropped on him. AT gun has been quite a few. We'll like to get overrun by the Whirlwind. The short engine crit there onto the 2 to 2. And now the AT gun is just getting circled. I think uh, a couple of years too did airborne squads, and a lot of the elite infantry squads a little bit better, in my opinion. Let's get some good hits there. Airborne squads just getting reinforced. Of course, if only one recall rifle would have a bit of trouble there. He could use the airborne squad to recapture it. The rifle squad's going to be focused down. He does have four models now. Uh, make that three now. Make that two. Make that one. Now the squads are falling back. And also the rifle squad has picked themselves up a recall rifle. It is better to two as well. Not getting rid of the It's out of manpower. You got the farm run brought in. It's not paying attention. It does do a good chunk of those forces there. Not paying attention. Though, he does have some manpower to replace with. He does have good amount of squads in the field. US player, not so much. Not to mention he really lacks anything to gauge those verbal ones. Confirm our readiness. Ready to pass on order. Paratroopers ready for orders. Sent your mission orders. AT gun has been recruited. We in diminishing the enemy's points to 200. Now those AT guns are all seen a bit of a uh, auto cannon fire. There's also a drop bar there, which these kinds of grenades could pick them up. Captured as order. Squad regrouping on point. Scout car ready for combat. The men are eager to fight. Another two two being floated on out. AT gun does get destroyed. There's some butterfly bombs here as well. Those butterfly bombs. Will be used for protecting his flak 88. Does he hit there? Has plenty of health to work with. Fires it up into some butterfly bombs there. And does go for a demolition charge there. You may want to pull withdrawal now. It's took quite a bit of damage on the street. Does for the flak 88, but likely these guys are going to get wiped out on the street. Airborne squad gets wiped out. And the rifle squad does escape on out there. The two does see a bit of damage as well. Or oh, nope, that AT gun shot didn't miss or whiff. Sniper may get a kill here, a wipe. Nope, it does not get a shot off. Rifle squad advancing forward. The two is now pushing towards the right side of the map. And this rifle squad does throw a frag grenade there, but fails and needs to fall back now. Rifle squad does get wiped out. And so we should probably add a medic station. It looks like it's going back on the game now. We're down to 100 points. And that is the end of the replay. This is Adam Great saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.